Two and a half to go. 62-58 lead for the Bonnies. Demetrius Conger to Chris Johnson. He'll drive off the glass. Rebound up and in. Yusu Endoy. Nice soft touch by Yusu Endoy. Taking that one right off the top. And Jim Ferry probably using this timeout. It was a 30 second timeout by Mark Smith to set up the offensive reaction here at the other end when they get the basketball. And what he's telling his guys too is, listen guys, keep in front of your man. Don't foul, play good pressure defense. Don't panic, there's a ton of time left. So 12 seconds on the shot clock for the Bonnies. Minute 31 on the game clock. Six point lead for the Bonnies. St. Bonaventure's put both their point guards, Fluth and Mosley, back in the game. Now down to 10, Kluth to Conger. Five on the shot clock, Conger, he'll take it. On the drive, offensive foul on Demetrius Conger. Absolutely not what you wanted if you're St. Bonaventure. That is his fourth foul. And Duquesne makes the offense for defense substitution as Johnson comes back in. And Mark Schmidt does the opposite as he puts Jordan Gathers back in for Mosley. And he'll continue that offensive defensive substitution both sides. Duquesne will do the same thing as well. Coulter with the basketball. It's basically a two possession game. They've shot very well from three point range, almost 60%. And another one is short. Rebound comes out. Lane left handed and good by Jeremiah Jones. Timeout taken by Duquesne. In the last couple minutes, Kevin, we've seen St. Bonaventure be sloppy with the basketball. They've committed turnovers, got the offensive foul. The last two possessions for Duquesne, they've gotten the offensive rebound and an opportunity for a second chance bucket. And Jones will launch it. Jerry Jones missed it. Tap back Coulter, he'll take it. And got knocked down on the miss. Johnson on the rebound, doesn't go, and Kloof grabs it, he'll be fouled. Jeremiah Jones on the foul, Charlon Kloof. Three shot attempts for Duquesne. Two of those looks were very, very good looks at the rim, and they could not knock the ball down, and that might spell the end for Duquesne. Well, it's 16.5 seconds. It is unlikely right now as Contaflet is limping here on the back end, getting up. Charlotte Kluth will shoot one and one. If you're a Duquesne fan and you're looking for a sign of hope, Kluth is only a 62% free throw shooter. And Kadeem Contaflet will kind of limp off here. And that hurts for Duquesne because he has played a really, really solid game today, especially his shooting from behind the arc. And Kloof makes the front end. That makes it a three possession basketball game with only 16.5 seconds. And Kloof drains the second. Eric Coulter will do his best over Jerry Jones. Far side, Jeremiah. Back rim, no good. Rebound, Chris Johnson. And that will do it in just a few seconds. Johnson will dribble it up. And the St. Bonaventure Bonnies end their four-game home losing skid, pick up their third win in Atlantic 10 play, 68-60 over Duquesne. But give credit to the Dukes. They put up a hard fight here at the Riley Center. And that's the, the story of Duquesne all season long. They've been in these games, and they've been fighting real hard. They just have not been on the winning end of these games. And this is still Jim Ferry. It's still his first season with this Duquesne program. He'll get it turned around, but he's he's got these freshmen that are, we're seeing mature before our eyes, which is a good sign for Duquesne, but just not able to get it done today. All right, our final score, St. Bonaventure 68, Duquesne 60. You're watching A-10 Basketball.